Are you looking to create customized flowcharts or diagrams? Maybe you need to explain a concept, a difficult concept or idea to someone or your client wants to understand your work process better. These are the types of situations when um, a flowchart or a, di uh, a diagram are you know, the best solution because you can explain a process in a visual way, which is it makes it easier for someone to, to understand, someone to you know, understand what you mean, right? Um, so I've been using Lucid Chart for a while, especially because I work with marketing automation projects. Marketing automation being, imagine um, a series of emails, right? So what happens after someone downloads an ebook from my website? I redirect them to a page, then I send them an email, then there is a delay of five days, and then I send them another email. So this is a process, a uh, marketing process. So if I need to explain types of pro these types of processes, I use um, um, I use Lucidchart to create flowcharts and explain this in an easy way to my clients. So let's take a look at how we can create uh, flowcharts and diagrams for free using Lucidchart. Uh, go to their website and click on sign up free. And then you'll create an account, um, which I'm not going to do now with you, but all you have to do is continue with free, add your details here and click on create an account. Okay. After you do this, you'll be redirected to this page. Um, and then you have to click on new and then document, which is the first option. Once I am inside of the document, I will be able to um, create my first flowchart. And there is a few shapes here that I can use, um, you know, by default, they are here as options that I can use. They will be pushing you to sign up for an account. Um, you, I think you can create up to three at the moment, up to three, uh, free diagrams and export them, um, in the free account. If you need more than that, um, you know, sign up for their premium account, or you can also keep deleting your documents and then adding new ones as you go. It's really easy to create a flowchart. All you have to do is select like how you want the flowchart to appear. So let's say we want to start with a square that represents an action. For instance, user signs, uh, user downloads ebook. Then what happens next? I can get this little arrow here and drag it and drop it to whatever I want. I can, you know, do it to the right or to the left or just a straight arrow and I'll select another action. So this one, for instance, um, so after the user downloads in book, um, we send them a follow up email and then there is a delay. See, so you just drag and drop things to um, however you want, really. Then there is a delay of five days and so on and so on. So, you know, to edit the text, all you have to do is click on the text and you'll be able to edit it. Um, if you want to change your flowchart, for instance, let's say I want um, to have this action here and another action, I can drag it to the right and then add another square here. And I can just drag another arrow here, see, and then just drag it and drop, drag it and drop, drop it <laughs> to, um, you know, redirecting it to the new action that I just created. And that's going to be a new action. So you can change the structure of your workflow. You can add a third one here. You can, you know, just be creative. Um, it's a drag and drop tool. Um, you can change shapes here. You can click here to change the color of your font. Uh, change the background of your actions and, um, you know, get crazy with your flowcharts and diagrams. Um, and once you're done, you can share with someone else or you can click on file and export your document in different formats and then send it via email or just on Slack or, you know, however you want. And that's how you create flowcharts and diagrams in an easy, 
really easy way you, and, and free way with Lucid Chart. Let me know in the comments if you are using the tool already. If not, if you're looking forward to, to start creating your diagrams there. And um, that's it for today. So thanks for watching the tutorial. And please let me know if you have any questions and if you have any suggestions for new videos.